you know you guys before I start doing the actual recording the reading I will generally um, just shuffle the deck try to prime it um, before I start recording and I'll just pull some cards and just try to see what the energy is and you know what's showing up what's coming up and all that and then I'll put them back in the deck and then you know start shuffling and then we, we get into your reading right but and normally I don't do this but there was a message in here that I really felt like I needed to share with you um, before I actually start your reading this is kind of like a little bit of a pre-reading before the reading and I'm just gonna tell you such you're getting something showing up here for you that you have been waiting for okay I don't know how long you've been waiting for something but let me just tell you it is on its way okay now something that you've been wishing for or you've been hoping to receive okay it is on its way now this could be anything as far as love this could be a commitment a ring an offer proposal um, as far as tangible items maybe a gift or some money or something of value or something in the mail it could be even be as simple as a package uh, something but it's very important and so important that it's taking a long time okay now look the horse here his feet are not moving but he is kind of leaning forward so you know this is like the horses are meant for moving right that's what they got four legs for right <laughs> they're meant to run um but right now there is a pause on this thing that i feel like you you've been hoping and wishing for to receive and i do feel like it's on its way but I know you might be like, oh, is this ever going to happen? Feeling impatient, what have you. Whatever this thing is, this wish, something you've been hoping for, it is going to take you out of whatever current energy you are currently in right now. Okay, I know I said that a couple of times. It is going to get you out of energy that you are in right now. Even in the way of like relocating or moving or... This even kind of feels to me like, for some of you, it's like somebody's gonna take the wheel and it's not you. You're gonna maybe even like, I mean that like like in a limousine or something, or you can have a driver, but whatever it is, this, this Six of Swords, it comes from the Five of Swords, okay? So it could have been an abusive relationship or a situation ship that you have been in where um, there's just been it's been very negative, okay? And whatever negative is for you, just very negative, okay? And it's it, the six goes to the seven of swords, which means an opportunity to run away, to get away from something. Whatever this is that you have been wishing or hoping for, it's coming. And I feel like the message here with that is to be patient, okay? The other thing in relation to that was a big decision, okay? Or a compromise, but it feels like a big decision is coming up for you here and you're gonna have to weigh balance things out I feel like they're saying don't say anything to anybody this is your personal decision here nobody else can make this for you you're the only one okay if you need to talk to a couple people about it that's fine could have something to do with a Gemini but if you need to have some type of conversation um, to help you make this decision it's gonna be huge okay and once that decision gets made for you, all your effort, all right? Now, is it related to this? It could be, but it could be something completely different. All your effort is going to be needed. Like, this is pick a lane, man. This is like, once you make a decision, which lane you're going to drive in, you need to stay in that lane and put all your effort. Because look, you're about to shock the world. People are going to be so surprised. People, yourself even, you might even be completely shocked. You're blowing the, the roof off this house. And I mean that um, literally speaking, not like seriously, but whatever this is with your effort and your consistency and your perseverance, whatever this thing is coming in for you, this opportunity to make some kind of change, you're blowing the lid off, off of like everybody, like I just feel like an energy of shock. Okay, I don't know what this has to do with, where it's going, who it's connected to, or whatever but I do feel like you need to know this because I feel like some of you are about to give up some of you are about to give up on something you're, you're like no nah, I'm not dealing with this anymore it's never gonna happen it's not going where I want it to go it's not going the way I want it to go I'm telling you don't quit it's coming it's on its way it's en route it's what's the word it's it's en route and en, en route whatever it is it's like it 
the check's in the mail, <laughs> whatever it is, it's in the mail, okay? Or it's, or it's being put in, it's, you know what I mean? Like it's, ugh, how can I say this? I'm trying to give it to you like as an I ideology, like someone right now is, is gonna do it. Someone right now is making this decision to do something in there. So when we talk about putting the check, putting the check in the mailbox, it means it's like, that's it sending it off okay so it's on its way it could be an actual check or it could just be something that you've been waiting and wishing and hoping for that someone is going to do or that's going to happen it's going to ha it's happening it's coming to you so just wait all right that was the biggest message and and I, like i said i don't i don't usually do that but that was just kicking off and i just was like oh i gotta show you this i gotta show you this okay so let's get into this reading there's abundance holy shit keep a positive mindset that's what i'm talking about look at this manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss listen virgo it's on its way it's coming now i know i asked some of you like if you like the portrait mode or if you wanted the landscape and it seems like most people like the portrait a lot of you couldn't see the cards it's okay maybe tomorrow i'll change it up but we'll see here's the cards so you just look at them you can see them but look here's abundance i can't speak anymore on this situation except to tell you that whatever it is for you you're going to be shocked at your ability to be able to take this next step, you're gonna have this thing. What is it? You gotta leave me some comments and let me know what this is. Or that somebody else is going to provide this opportunity for both of you to take this next step. Shocking the world, people are gonna be, I just keep looking at this tower. There might even be like drama involved with this. I'm looking at this tower and I'm feeling this strong energy of like chaos. <laughs> Like, people are going to go nuts. People are going to go crazy. Are you going to relocate? Are you moving in with somebody? Okay. All right. And obviously, this is the future. I mean, I see you being very, very happy. You've got a hand of cards taking a risk. There's a chance here of being taken. A big risk. Being strategic. Not showing your hand. And that's what I was saying with the two of swords. Not telling anybody. It's a big decision you're making for yourself, Virgo, or involving another person or somebody else. And it's a risk. It's a gamble. Some of you could have something to do with investments or gambling with money or something along those lines. You got palm trees, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Listen, oh my gosh, this is great. This is great. This just feels like, to me, it just feels like that stability and security. It feels fin not financial, but it also feels like even relationship-wise, some kind of security. Let's see what's going on here. Let's let's see if we can get more, or at least anything else that Virgo needs to know right now. This shock thing. I, I, all right, you've got the Knight of Wands. All right, and you got the page of wands. So there is communication coming in. Some of this has to do with travel. Well, there is communication about travel, about a free spirited energy, about, oh uh, gosh, this is fire. There's so much fire here. So much fire. Excitement. Virgo, this is spontaneous energy. And I don't feel like this is um, something that you're... I don't feel like this is in your nature to have this like spontaneous I don't know something's very spontaneous about this okay look here's the queen of swords <laughs> Virgo you're definitely going to be like is this for real you know look at it. taking your sword out bring that to me so I can cut it and see if it's like if it's real <laughs> bring me that meat bring me that piece of meat I want to see let me test it let me poke it a little bit to see if this is real yeah this uh, why does this feel like this oh shit you got the ace of cups it's a brand new beginning a blessing for someone this could be something to do with a pregnancy or finding out about a pregnancy shocking the world keeping it or not keeping it i don't know 
it feels like a positive wish though it feels like something you may have been hoping for whether for yourself or somebody else but look i'm feeling this ace of cups energy obviously this could be a proposal this could be about marriage you know a partnership a relationship a love relationship or a new baby you know what virgo I'm, i don't know what exactly you're wishing for but it feels like it's all along these lines money as well keep you know, emotional key developments are going to have huge impact on your life okay somebody's coming to see you or you're going to see them there's communication about this for sure somebody's going to tell you that they love you there's a new love beginning there you are virgo you got you got yourself showing up there okay now here we have water sign cancer scorpio pisces that's masculine or feminine energy so some of you might be considering a same-sex relationship right maybe that's a first for you i don't know but it looks like it's it's a possibility it could be playing out that could be part of the shock other people what seriously but on the other end here okay somebody's really taking a look at how they feel this person is single they don't want to be single anymore they don't want to be on their own could be another virgo they don't want to be on their own okay or you don't taking a look at your feelings right why 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 because i know there's a lot of virgos here they're like no I, I really do want a partnership there's someone here that has been like nah nah i'm giving up on love now nah, i'm staying just me and my cat nope don't want to be in a relationship something here shifts something here changes You see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? My cards don't lie. I know some, there was a couple people that posted a comment and they were like, this shit hasn't happened yet. And I'm like, all right, well, what do you want me to do about it? Like there's other people who are saying shit, it is happening to them. I mean, take a look at yourself. What are your surroundings? You know, nobody's gonna fall out of the sky and land on your couch. It just doesn't work like that. But I'm telling you here, there's there's love. There's, there's, a, there's some kind of new opportunity, an emotional, New beginning is happening here for you. And I feel like it's mostly coming after you get this thing that you've been wishing or hoping for. If that's what it feels like, that it's gonna just move in this direction. And But mostly it feels like you making a decision to get out of something that's just not serving you, okay? Or at least isn't doing you any good is what I feel. All right, anything else here for Virgo? All right, somebody's going to a baseball game. Take me out to the ball game. Look, celebration. Uh, somebody's going to see a game. Doesn't have to be baseball, could be basketball, could be anything, whatever your sport is. But it mostly feels like baseball because I feel like that's, you know, up at home plate here. Batter, swing, batter, batter. But um, somebody's also kept their eye on you, Virgo. They're watching you, watching you have a damn good old time, enjoy their, enjoying your life. So I'm hearing being around your friends, socializing, maybe you, maybe you're looking at your friends and thinking, you know, I need to get out. I need to get out and do stuff. Okay. So that energy is here. Magic happens mostly Virgo when you're socializing with people, right? So I just heard magic Johnson. Okay. Now I don't know how you're going to take that because he just gave me two different things. Right, that was a basketball player, right? Magic Johnson? I don't even know. Is he still alive? I have no idea. I don't really follow basketball. However, it could be the other thing. Somebody's got that Magic Johnson, right? Maybe you're looking for that. <laughs> Stop. I'm a five-year-old. I know. Oh, my God. Listen, Virgo, this summer, this is what I feel like. This summer is going to be off the charts for you, okay? Really. Like, it's going to be really good. There's love, there's a little MJ going on. You know, there's social activities. But I feel like all of this is coming. Look at this, 10 of cups, like I can't even, even with the lovers. Gemini energy again. Like, I just feel like whatever, listen Virgo, whatever you've been wishing for, wishing and hoping, oh, I have a hole. Whatever you've been wishing and hoping for, praying about trying to manifest it's coming in and i know i keep repeating myself but i i just get this strong message of like don't give up don't give up on love don't give up on your blessings don't give up on the good stuff coming in for you because it is 
Most of it has to do with you like making this transformation and change, looking out on the horizon and seeing what else is out there, you know? I feel like you have a lot of hopes and wishes and dreams and I feel like you just kind of live in that hopes, hopeful, wishful thinking. Well, you can wish in one hand and shit in the other and see what comes out first, right? Wishing is a waste of time, right? You got your hope, you got your wish, something's coming in, but work on making stuff happen in your life, right? Because wishes are just dreams that your heart wants, right? But you have the willpower, you have the ability, okay? And some hopes, wishes, and dreams um, need to be traded in for different ones, you know? Like, for example, if when you were like, say, 18, you wanted to be a rock star, and now you're 58, or you're 68, and you still want that to be that, well, you might have to like maybe rearrange if you haven't made that happen or that didn't happen for you, you know? I mean, who am I to say miracles don't happen, right? I think they do. And and they're the exception to the rule though, right? So change around your wishes and hopes, right? I, I don't know. I just felt the way the need to say that to you, okay? I'm hearing be fair to yourself. Now, what does that mean, right? You have all these new beginnings coming towards you. That's what I feel like. Very soon, these new beginnings happening for you. And you have this, sometimes don't want to believe that or let those things happen because you have this very, got to stay by the rules, right? Got to do everything by the book here. But there's an energy here of you, Virgo, that you really look at you. You're like, I'm so bored doing everything by the book. I'm so sick and tired of living my life based on these rules and regulations and these laws that I have to follow. I want to be spontaneous. I want something different. I want a change. I need a change. You know, maybe you, you might have an energy where you're in, involved in something where it's constricting for you, right? And the, the, the justice card, this is Libra energy. We got Scorpio energy. The justice card is, it's fair, but it's not exciting. Fair is kind of boring, okay? Eh, it's fair, but it's, it's mundane. You Look at you. You want more, Virgo. What else is out there in this world? I feel so dead where I'm at. little ASMR. You feel, so do you feel that way, Virgo? Do you feel like, ugh, need to morph, need to change? Yeah, well, all this is coming. Whatever you've been wishing and hoping for. Yeah, look at you. You've been there with your cat, settling. Hanging out in the sun, right? You're done. <laughs> you want better days. You want more out of life. Okay? Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands takes that energy. She is a force to be reckoned with. She doesn't mess around. Look at all that yellow. She's very bright, sunny. Look at the sun here, out in the open. I'll shine some light on that dead-ish. Ooh. Hold on a second. Oh, wow, okay. All right, I just got a very strange message. And I don't feel like this had anything to do with this reading. Maybe it does. But I'm just going to say it because it just came out of nowhere. Somebody that has died or has been, you know, a little stabby, it's going to get revealed. It's going to be revealed that it's a, it's a fire sign female. Right? Aries Leo or Sag did something. I don't know. If that's connected to you or if this is something in the news but it's gonna be exposed it's coming out in the open there's a woman who did something to somebody like this 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 type of thing here look at those knives those swords that's that's a rage that's passion and rage it's gonna be exposed by her she did it I don't know I'm going to bookmark this reading because I know when this comes up, because you know sometimes th these readings, this happens, it shows up. 
And then we got to go back and be like, what the heck? Or this fire sign, this, this uh, Queen of Wands. Uh, I don't know if I could say these words on here without getting, you know, blo uh, demonetized, but did a thing, okay? She did a thing, or she's going to do a thing. Not to you. She's going to do a thing. And it's going to come out. It's going to come out. She's going to get caught. That's what I just heard. That just came out of left field. And I just felt like I, I guess I had to say it. Okay. All right, Virgo. You're going to get some news. Okay. You're going to be able to leave. Okay. You're going somewhere. You're going to be able to go. You're leaving something. And, and I'm going to tell you. Whoever you're leaving or walking away from. No, they're going to try and stop you. They're going to try and stop you. Look, all these eight wands here. One after the other after the other. Coming in quick. All right? News. There's some news. You're going to get some news. Either somebody's going to stop you, for some of you, or you're going to have an opportunity here. Some of you, there's going to be some news that comes in while you're away. Right? Okay, that's what they just said. While you're away, if you're going somewhere, you're going on some kind of trip, okay. There's a King of Cups showing up here. They don't want you to go. Okay, if you're walking away from a King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces energy, they're going to try and stop you from going. Right? They're, this person's like, they got a thing for you with these eight wands. They have a thing for you. All right? They're going to try, they're just like, no, 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 you can't go. Look, we, look, they're going to cause some conflict. Try to initiate some conflict to stop you from abandoning them or from leaving. Okay? But look, keep its arrows. L a lot of love. This person really does love you. Um, I don't know. Are you leaving? Yeah. So look, like I said, you got a wish coming in. Something that you've been hoping for. Taking a really long time. Um, now some of you might not take the advice here and you might give up and say F it I'm not dealing with it anymore and that's when it most of you it's going to come in okay once you quit but I think you might miss it because you walk away from it right oh look at that yeah five of pentacles here yeah, yeah this person does not want you to leave them at all don't leave them They're, I don't know if it's related to this beginning thing but it feels like it might it's something to do with like just give me more time or just wait. Don't leave. Something like that. Just give me more time. Just wait. Don't leave. I'm going to fight. They're going to fight to keep you. They're going to push back. Okay. These were a bunch of different messages, but I feel like the beginning message was the most important. I feel like that's the message that you really need to pay attention to. The biggest message showing up here is that somebody is coming in and it's going to happen. You're going to get a delivery or a universe or spirit's going to deliver this thing you've been hoping and wishing for. And you're going to want to quit. You're going to want to give up because you're tired of waiting. But I'm hearing don't. Don't quit. Don't give up. All right. Let's see. What else do you have here? Okay. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason here, Virgo. So this feels to me like whatever the situation is, could be a past life love. Whatever the connection is, to this person place thing whether it's an emotional connection a physical um, an intellectual or a creative connection whatever it is you got balance here one person giving too much what the hell these some of these were yesterday okay intuition that's what i wanted listen virgo i feel like for you here you, uh, they're saying you are, you're getting strong intuitive vibes about something that you've been wanting. You know, Virgo, like you know it's coming. But it might be just taking forever. Forever. It's taking such a long time. You're about to give up. I, I feel it. Like I, I see it too, but I feel it. But you know it's on its way. I don't know. Like I said, you might not want to quit. And I, I don't, but you might. And I don't know, like, I can't tell you what to do. Shit, right? Some of you, it's a twin flame thing. I can't tell you what to do, right? I can only advise, like, the messages that I'm getting here, don't quit. Don't give up. 
but you know what it's up to you you have to do what's best for you okay this feels like here you go for some of you this is a twin flame thing either either getting away from it or becoming one with a twin flame all right shall we just say maybe it's just we'll say it's a divine counterpart connection that you either you can be or you need to be completely vulnerable and open with this person and tell them what's going on now listen if this is someone that you've been in a very abusive situation you got to be very careful because that type of energy not healthy because that can backfire on you okay so i don't know exactly i'm not going to give a very general thing here i'll just say if you're you're trying to get away from a violent or abusive thing that's not the type of thing where you completely be open and vulnerable and tell the person you love them but you're leaving them because like that could be very detrimental to you <clears throat> but i also hear you got to speak your truth you got to speak your truth to somebody here if you if you got to get away from something then you just need to get away there's no re there's no hashing it out there's no talking okay but you got to get away let me see what your chinese sign is here virgo all right you've got year of the horse year of the rat year of the tiger year of the dog year of the monkey year of the rabbit and one more rabbit again year of the ox okay so if that's your chinese side take heed this is definitely going to be a message for you all right let's see what else is showing up here All right, head of household, take charge of your divine masculine energy, Virgo. A father figure guides you. Strive for respect, dignity, and power. An influential male supports you. That's good. So you're not alone. Whatever this thing is. All right, arguments and separation, as you can see, showed up in the reverse. And I do feel like that's like, don't argue. Okay, first and foremost. And don't let somebody know that you're separating. That's if you've come in from a really bad situation or trying to get out of a bad situation. Um, and again, with the Two of Swords, like we saw, that was a message there. Don't tell anybody. Don't let the left hand know what the right hand's doing. That is what I'm hearing. Yep, no contact. This means if you're in no contact right now, you need to stay in that, okay? Okay. Or just do not contact anybody and let anyone know like what your plans are okay because this shift and this change whether it's for the better or whatever it is it's going to be very shocking not just to you yourself but to other people this because this I feel like it's some kind of decision that you need to make and it needs to be yours and you don't need to check in with 10,000 different people this needs to be yours and once you make that decision and you stick with it once you get this wish that comes in and you stick with it, then you need to go forward and keep sticking with it. I feel like, I don't know if people are going to be happy for you or if they're going to be pained by this decision you make, but whatever you're doing, it really doesn't matter because you got to do what's best for you. You can't worry about everybody else, you know? Um, do you go to the restaurant, you're ordering what you like for you. You're not ordering what three other people like for yourself you're ordering what's good for you and that's you know you got to be selfish with this i think but you can't quit that's what i'm hearing because the blessing is on its way yep wealth health and abundance just like i said with the abundance card here gratitude bliss receiving exactly what you want not so much need but what you want in order to get what you need and keeping a positive mindset so that's a really really good message there all right Virgo. <clears throat> keeping this here short now there's a connection with a libra connection with a scorpio someone is 47 someone is born in november uh initial b bella someone is very beautiful brian brianna Bo. someone is born on the 21st we have 1990. We have the letter H. We have a 43. Okay, AA. Maybe some of you are going to go into AA. You're getting sober. You're getting clean. You're going to shock everybody. You're be like, what the hell's going on? Um, 
or it's somebody's initials, AA. So someone is 53, and when someone's name starts with the letter R, well, that's pretty amazing. All right, get a couple of charms. I'll show you guys. Oh, look, there's my dragon ring is back. I thought I took this out. I guess I didn't. Well, some of you are getting that ring. I can tell you that. That does represent like a ring, like a, could be an engagement ring. If that's something you've been wishing and hoping for, there you go. It's coming in. All right. Now we also have, I'm going to show you. You have a crab. Okay. So you could be dealing with a cancer. Could very well be dealing with a cancer, but you have a crab here. Or maybe you're eating crabs. You like crabs. Maybe you have crabs. I hope not. Gross. Get that fixed. Um, crabs are basically like soft in the center, hard shell on the outside. Yes, remember I was talking about that the other day. I wasn't saying it was like M&M's, hard candy, and hard shell on the outside, soft in the center. But everybody, I was trying to remember what that squirty stuff was, and everyone said Gushers, and that's what it was. And I couldn't remember for the life of me what the name of that was. And now I don't even remember why I was talking about it. But maybe that's coming up again. Something to do with that kind of candy. Oh. All right. Let's get another one for you, Virgo. Oh, shit. Okay. Listen. <laughs> Look, I know that this is supposed to be a fairy, but I'm sorry. It looks like a freaking alien with wings. Some of you are going to see either an alien or you're going to see a spaceship. This is a freaking alien because, like, it just is because it is. That is not... Let me try and see if I can get it to show up better. That is legit not a fairy to me. Right? Look at the head. Can you see it? Look at the head. I'm sorry. That does not look like Tinker Tinkerbell. So there's... I don't... No, that's... I don't know. I mean, I know aliens don't have wings, but I'm telling you, something weird. It's alien to me. Okay. You also have um, a tail fin. This is actually... You could actually wear this. I feel like I might make a, a charm out of this, but there's a tail fin. There's a connection to tail fins. I don't know what that means. It could be a name of something, like a street or a place, or tail fins, like tail fins. And it's a whale, like a whale fin. You see it? There's something to do with a whale. And then, of course, you have a spider. Gross. Nasty. Like I said the other day, kill them effers, those bad poisonous ones. Okay? There is connection to spider. Spiders. You might have a tattoo somewhere. Um, that fin also, I just want to say, it, it, it could also have something to do with a mermaid or any kind of a dolphin, I think, or any kind of an animal or a mammal, a, a, a fish is what I want to say. Okay? I'm not picking anything up at this spider, but I will say... There is something to connect the spider and the crab because they both have eight legs. There's something to do with eight. Oh, you might see maybe a spider crab. You might see a spider crab if you're at the beach. I don't know. There's something to do with the spider and the crabs and fish or, or fin. Do you eat? Do people eat fin? Fins? Is that like a delicacy or something? I just want to get one more card and then I'm, we're going to go. Is that like a delicacy? Tailfin? Tailfin soup? I don't know if that's a thing. All right, let me just see. Oh, what was this in here? Oh, I don't know how they got in there. All right, give Virgo another card, another message. Oh, someone else. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage something. Some of you might resonate with that. I don't know exactly what that means, but that's a very important message for you guys regarding this reading. Look, you also have spy. Wow. Someone got their eye on you. You are doing your research, Virgo. Okay, something very significant about a spy situation. And there's commitment, too. Hmm, okay. 
this does, this does, I don't know if this is a whole message in itself. But someone, someone's trying to sabotage a, a committed relationship that's trying to get off the ground or that you're currently in. I feel like you need to pay attention to this. Okay, so whatever this thing is that's going on, it's having a huge effect on you and another person that maybe you're in a relationship with. Um, I don't feel like it's your person messing around. It feels like someone's on the outside trying to get information or will be if this is like a proposal that comes in for you that people are shocked and someone's trying to screw mess it up so much drama those people can just kiss off all right i'm gonna leave that there i hope that that made some sense because i'm not even sure if it did kind of crazy when it doesn't make sense generally somebody knows what i'm talking about so i will leave it there i will see you guys back here tomorrow remember if you want to get a personal reading go ahead and book a, the, the link is in the description box below the video and also please click like on your way out that would greatly do me a huge favor the channel if you can't donate you want to show your support just one simple like on the way out would really bump the video up in the algorithm and really give this um, channel a lot more opportunity for people to you know the algorithm is very competitive so you guys help me out a great deal when you hit the like button if you want to subscribe that would be great if you want to become a member of the channel that's even better as a matter of fact yeah, I didn't look at to see who the newest members were. My apologies. I will get you guys all tomorrow, and I'll give you those shout-outs that I owe you. All right, thank you, Mods, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.